Welcome back to Market Pros and let's get right into it. So here we got Atlas. Uh, your RSI is in the bullish control zone. We are above the signal line. Volatility is turning up as the price action is turning up. MACD bounced off the signal line and resume resumption to the upside. Uh, pretty strong, pretty strong uh, uh, angle too. Um, positive momentum is starting to increase again. Uh, we, we are getting these wicks. Uh, these wicks are very common in Atlas. You know, it's, it's not the most liquid asset. So you kind of get these wicks to the upside or the downside. Now, one thing I have noticed is when you get these wicks, most of the time, it'll backfill it. Like, like right here, this one to the downside, it backfilled it. This one to the upside, it backfilled it. This one of the this one of the upside it ended up backfilling it. This one of the downside it didn't work. This one of the upside backfilled it. This one of the downside kind of backfilled it. So it's not all the time like this one backfilled it. Uh, and then these, you know, they got backfilled. So uh, we'll find out about that. Validation of the upside would be to get back above basically three cents. Then I would expect us to come all the way up to 0 0.0313. Uh, validation of the downside would be to cross 0 0.0286. Then I would expect us to come all the way back down to first. Uh, first top would be 0 0.0280. But honestly, if we broke this range and broke back into this pattern, I think we would fall all the way through this pattern come back down to the 200 at 0 0.0271. Uh, so, I mean, Atlas looks pretty good right now. Atlas looks pretty good, at least on the one hour. And just remember your levels, uh, you know what I mean? So, yeah, let's move on to Polis. So Polis, on the other hand, not so much. Uh, RSI, testing the neutral median line. We are above the signal line. Volatility is very low. Uh, we're just ranging, ranging. You know, we did get the measured move of the descending triangle. We did hit that already. MACD below the zero line. You know, we are trying to raise up. Positive momentum is increasing. Um, so it's kind of right on the line. If we break down, you know, first stop, 170. Honestly, I think we would come all the way back down to 165 and then come back to it. If we break 165, I think we come all the way back down to 157. Uh, your moving averages, your 50 and your 21 have negative slopes. Your 100 and 200 have positive slopes. But your 50 and your 21 did just cross the tw uh, 100 bearish. So that's something to pay attention to. Uh, unless they just curl right back around. If they curl right back around. This RSI turns up, volatility expands as the price action goes up, and MACD crosses that zero line. That's going to be your validation of the upside. We need to get back above this 100 at 177 in order to be bullish again. If we break down, I already explained the downside targets, and that's really it. I mean, these are shorter videos today. I just want to give you the market update, uh, you know, because things are starting starting to pick up. Uh, so I, I would expect us to be breaking ranges by, you know, this evening when CME opens up for Bitcoin. And those are my thoughts. If you guys like the content, like and subscribe if you want. If not, keep coming back. And I'll see you in the next one.